Namaste everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Dr. Abhishek Kumar. Today we are going to learn about the histology of stomach. The body of stomach. Here we are making the basement membrane of the stomach body. Stomach is a muscular bag that receives the food bolus from the esophagus. It also acidify and convert the ingested food into a thick viscous pulp that is also called as chyme. It also absorbs water, salt and alcohol in certain drugs also. Mucosa show a long longitudinal fold when our stomach is empty that is called as rugae which also disappear when stomach is expanded. When we intake a food it will that rugae will be going to disappear mucosa also so a tiny groups which appear in vagination that is called as gastric pit or foveolae gastricae all the glands of the stomach open into the bottom of the gastric pits Here we are drawing the simple tall columnar epithelium along with the parietal cell and cheap cells. This one is simple columnar epithelium and here is the parietal cells and cheap cells at the bottom of the pit. Here we will put the nucleus of simple columnar epithelium. Simple columnar epithelium which secrete mucus that lubricate and protect the epithelial surface from the acid content of chyme. The epithelium shows the invagination called gastric pit. This epithelial cells this simple columnar epithelium is going to renew about every three days here we are going to write simple columnar simple columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium okay and here is gastric pits multiple gastric pit or gland present every single square millimeter of stomach inside the stomach we are going to find 60 to 100 pits or gland here we are putting the nucleus of parietal cells nucleus of parietal cell parietal cells are found at the neck of the gastric pit here parietal cells you will write parietal parietal cells parietal cells also produce the hydrochloric acid which also denature the protein and it also help in activation of pepsinogen and this parietal cells also produce intrinsic factor which help in absorption of vitamin B12 here the cheap cells we are going to write the cheap cells cheap cells generally present at the bottom of the gastric pit and it also produces pepsinogen enzyme which is inactive in form and whenever the word OGEN is coming that means that is stored and inactivated in biological term and here the pepsinogen is activated through the hydrochloric acid and hydrochloric acid is produced from the parietal cells and these parietal cells and cheap cells all together we are calling as a gas fundic gland a thin smooth muscle that is muscularis mucosa 
consists of a inner circular and outer longitudinal layer form the outer boundary of the mucosa a thin strands of a smooth muscle from the muscularis mucosa extend into the lamina propria between the gastric glands toward the surface of the epithelium which is very clearly you can see this muscularis mucosa which extended upward between the gastric pit where the lamina propria is there here we will write this one is muscularis mus u laris muscularis mucosa mucosa muscularis mucosa here in muscularis mucosa below the muscularis mucosa we are going to draw here the sub mucosa in sub mucosa these are blood vessels present in the sub mucosa okay and it is generally general plane of git that is gastrointestinal tract here we'll put some nucleus okay and uh, blood vessels here round in color circular yes here we'll write the sub mucosa and uh, these are the blood vessels we'll label this one blood vessels which is present in sub mucosa okay and here we are going to draw the a smooth muscle layer a smooth muscle layer we are drawing here the inner middle and outer layer of a smooth muscle layer okay these are the muscularis externa we can say okay in uh, muscularis externa it composed of three layer mainly basically it composed of three layer the inner middle and outer layer first we will draw the inner layer then this one we are drawing the middle layer and at last we will draw the outer layer of muscularis externa muscularis externa and these are mainly the smooth muscle layers we can say the inner most layer is oblique and middle layer of this muscularis externa which is a smooth muscle layer that is circular in and the outer layer of a smooth muscle is longitudinal okay so inner oblique middle circular and outer longitudinal layer okay of a smooth muscle here we will write inner middle and outer layer of a smooth muscle so three layer of a smooth muscle see there that is inner middle and outer layer of a smooth muscle layer so inner is oblique middle is circular and outer is longitudinal and at last it's very general plane here the last one is serosa here this much part we'll write as serosa serosa consists of a thin outer layer of connective tissue that overlies the muscularis externa and is covered by a simple squamous mesothelium of visceral peritoneum 
and serosa can contain adipose cells also. This complete the histology of stomach body. Histology of stomach of body we completed and once again we will see here the gastric pit. This is the identification point for identifying the body of a stomach. The gastric pit must be there. Then you can see the simple columnar epithelium must be there. Along with that, the parietal cells and cheap cells must be there that together we call as fundic gland and muscularis mucosa also must be there. And all the inner, middle and outer layer of smooth muscle cells should be there in the histology of a stomach body. The inner layer is oblique O, the middle is circular that is C and outer is longitudinal that is L that is L O C longitudinal circular and oblique innermost is oblique middle one is circular outer one is longitudinal layer of smooth muscle cells this complete the identification point of stomach body gastric pit simple columnar epithelium parietal cell chip cells muscularis mucosa and smooth muscle cells thank you very much do like subscribe and share our channel